Hey there viewers, it's Charlie on Mac again with another Transformers review. And today's review is going to be on War for Cybertron Trilogy, Kingdom, Golden Disc Collection, Jackpot, and Sights. Now, just like my, my previous review, these two are from the Golden Disc Collection, which is basically a precursor to all the capsule lines that uh, Legacy has. Because, well, who the hell is Jackpot? Well, I'll tell you after we take a quick look at, at the box. Well, just like with uh, Road Ranger and Puffer's box, we don't really have any artwork of the characters. We just have a quarter of the golden disc. However... If you remember my uh, review on Puffer and Road Ranger, you can actually put the boxes together and, well, that starts to make up the golden disc. And if you have a um, Tigertron and Pterosaur, that means you can fully complete it, but let's be honest, if I do actually get those figures, I'm going to have these boxes thrown away by then. But continue to look at the box. Well, we got the name for it there, Jackpot Sights. Just have more of the golden disc right there. Of course, he's a deluxe class. This top got the got their names just right there. In the back, got Jackpot in both modes. And I say that because, well, this guy's meant to be an action master. And we got Sights right there. And that's pretty much it for the box. And well, moving on to the jackpot. I say that the uh, Golden Disc Collection is a precursor to the capsule uh, lines of Legacy because... Well, I mean... We've got another sort of obscure character here because... Well, as I said, this guy's meant to be an action master. And now he's got an alternate mode. And of course, as I mentioned in the uh, Puffer and Road Ranger review, we do have some lore of this golden disc thing. And the, the lore of uh, Jackpot here is basically that same um, uh, thing that fused the pipes and Huffer into Puffer. It gave Jackpot his alternate mode. So I guess it's powerful enough to undo a uh, Nucleon. Okay. Me personally, I'm probably just going to head Canon Ness's pre-Nucleon -nu uh, jackpot. Just... But yeah, obviously he's got an alternate uh, mode because this is a... Uh, it's a straight-up retool of Studio Series uh, Jazz. Well, Studio Series 86 Jazz, I'm meaning. And well, if we just look at the uh, vehicle here, starting off with Jackpot, we'll look at sights later. Honestly, I kind of like this deco. Kind of looks like one of those movie Bumblebee uh, figures that are done in the black with yellow highlights. It's kind of like that one Age of Extinction Bumblebee read uh, figure that's uh, mainly black with yellow highlights. Kind of reminds me of that. But yeah, like, I, this sticker looks really nice. I've got orange windows right here. The back, of course, just like with Jazz and Knockout and Dorito Jazz. From the Toxitron line, we can see the feet sticking out. But we've got the Autobot insignia right there. Underneath, of course, not really much to talk about. If anything, the main talking point is we've got a jackpot with a vehicle mode. Because, of course, with Action Masters, they didn't have vehicle modes. Although, this isn't the, the only jackpot with an... That has a vehicle mode because, like, I think like eight years before this guy, Botcon did the same thing. 
with animated jackpots, and here's the picture right here. So we can see that we do have another jackpot to the vehicle boat, so this isn't the first one, but still, that one is from a convention. This one was a, well, this one was from Amazon, although in my case I just got this on eBay, so. And that's pretty much it for jackpots. Let's take a look at sights, or I guess, Blue Taraxodon. Cause that's, that's essentially what this is. Now, back in the, in the, the G1 Action, Action Masters line, Sites was meant to be a Blue Bird uh, partner. Whereas here, he's straight up just a Pteranodon redecker, which means he's now a Pteranodon. Okay, did that surge thing that used Huffer and Pipes and gave Jackpot his vehicle modes. Did that change size to a Pteranodon or something? I don't know. I mean, I, I can see why, because it's easier to just redeco a mold instead of making a, a whole new one. But, eh. I, I still really like this uh, color scheme, though. And of course, this peg on, on top, we can just plug this in. Like so, if I can actually do that. So we got that going on. So it can still sort of do the gun mode. Because it can plug in a blast effect right there. And of course, he still comes with the normal gun. Just now in this really nice blue uh, color. So instead of tracks of Don right here, are sights. I'm getting the names mixed up. Instead of sights, you just plug in the gun right here. Again, just plug in the blast effect. And that was really good. Although. Unfortunately, you can't recreate the, um, the Action Master gimmick of um, combining these two weapons. So that's kind of poopy. But, oh well. And also, if you have like one gun plugged in, the other one just has to be left off to the side. Because, of course, the Jazz Mode doesn't really have that many combat parts. Even though this is in the War for Cybertron trilogy. And I think this is the first use of a Studio Series A6 mold being used outside the Studio Series. Of course, in the Legacy, like, this is common practice, because we have, like, Cup being used for, for Ryan Pax in the Dion or Dion. Well, we've got Blur being used for DevCon. We've got freaking Bumblebee RC being used for Javelin. But I think Jackpot really um, was the first uh, Studio Series mold to be used outside of Studio Series. So, yeah. Now, just, just comparing this with Jazz, we can see that it's the same mold. Like, the only new thing is the head, which we'll see in the robot mode, but still, these two look really good together. Like, Jackpot's got this nice... Um, Yellow striping here, whereas Jazz has it on the top. Yeah, these still look really good together, honestly. And well, that's pretty much it for these two in the alternate modes. So, uh, moving on to the transformation. So, the transformation is exactly like how Jazz transforms. So, just going to start by untapping the doors and lifting them up. Just untap the back window from the legs. I can actually do that. I find them... Oh, there we go. Extend the legs outwards like so just move the feet down so he can stand 
move the back wheel down and uh, split the legs. Flip around the shoulders and the front wheels. Put the windshield, just going to try and get this on tabs. Trying not to break all this because of course, clear plastic, this could crack, this could break, so just try and be careful with this. Push this square in on the hood. Push the head up. Push this red section around, that's the midsection. Push this down slightly so this tabs in. If I can actually get this to tab in, there we go. Get the arms down and get the hand out. Rotate the forearm around, so do the same here. Move the shoulder down, get the hand out, rotate the forearm, and that's the robot. That's the robot mode done, so now just for the backpack. Move the doors in slightly. For this back uh, window section, just move that in, close the doors. And then the entire windshield just goes on its back like so. And here we have jackpot in robot mode. And again, that's actually quite a, a fun transformation. I mean, yeah, just like on every, like just like with it, every other version of, of this mold, we have the uh, stressful backpack. But I, surprisingly, like I have like Jazz Prime Knockout G2 Jazz, and now this guy, and I've never had a problem with this cracking. Although saying that, I've probably jinxed myself and. Next time I transform Jazz or whatever, it's going to crack, but in the past, I've never had an issue with the backpack, so I don't know if I'm lucky or what, but but still, just be really careful with the backpack. And, of course, we're going to need this guy in weapon mode later, but to get size transformed, we're just going to get the head up, rotate the handle, and get the feet down and get the wings out and here we have them in pterodactyl mode or pteranodon mode I can never tell but yeah these two look really good together and let's start off with jackpot and honestly this just looks like if jackpot never took nucleon because of course he can still transform, obviously, but honestly, this just looks really good. In fact, here he is with the original Action Master Jackpot figure. And I think they did a pretty good job of replicating it, just... Of course, this one is more bulky because it has to transform. So, yeah. And, well, here it is with the animated jackpot figure, aka the other jackpot that can transform. And, coincidentally, that's also a jazz retool, so... I'm not sure if this guy being a jazz retool is a reference to that one, or if it's a coincidence, but still... If I had a nickel for every time a jackpot figure was retooled from jazz, I'd have two nickels. Which is not a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. <laughs> now, looking at the head, yeah, I think something happened here. Now, if you look at other uh, people's reviews on this figure, they'll say about the head. And I'm not sure if it's coming, uh, like, I'm not sure if it's, like, coming uh, that well on camera, but, or if it's that noticeable, but... The head is, um, molded slightly iffy. You can see, like, this half is a bit taller than the, than the other half. That's not just my copy, that's, like, most copies. So, uh, yeah. 
The head is a little bit mismatched, it seems. Now, do I care? Honestly, it's not, it's not really that noticeable if I'm looking at them from a shelf, so... Yeah, I don't really care. It's not... It's not like a Tolerance QC where if I shake him, this happens. Yeah. So, um... The legs are also a bit loose. Again, if I'm just uh, displaying him, then it's not that noticeable, but if I want to pose him, then... Well, uh, yeah, there's that problem. So, the head is uh, sort of mismatched when it comes to the sculpting and, uh, yeah, he's a bit loose. But, honestly... Seeing how I display most of my figures, I don't really mind either of those. I mean, there's still complaints, but... Like... Yeah, I can't really think of a good way to move on, so let's just talk about sights! Perfect segue. Now, in the original Action Masters line, sights was a bird. Here he is. Whereas in Kingdom, he's a pterodactyl, pteranodon, like... I don't know, bird dinosaur, I'm just going to say a pteranodon, because of course he's redacted from pteraxodon. So, I can sort of see why he's now a pteranodon, because of course there's no bird battle masters. And this was before like the little eraser one from a uh, Rise of the Beasts. But, like, lore-wise, I, I don't know, I guess, like, species change the same way that Pipes and Huffle are fused together, I don't know. But, honestly, he, this guy looks fine. And, of course, if you don't want Jackpot to have a little Pteranodon with him, this guy can fold up back into Axe form. And, well, this guy can have an Axe. Something that science never transformed into, so... But, well, he does come with a little blast effect, so there's that. So you can just plug this in. Get us lined up. There we go. So now you can make it look like he's um, hitting someone. Like, maybe fellow um, Action Master mainframe. So there you go. Or, if you want this to still be a gun, because that's what Sights was back in the Action Masters line, you can be held from this peg here. And this can function as a blast effect. Again, trying to line up the... Uh, here, there we go. So the size can still be a gun. Oh, well, we can't really give him. Yeah, we can't really combine the other gun here, so he just has to hold us with the other hand. But yeah, I mean, this kind of looks more like a crossbow, but. Hey, options! I can just... And of course, there's ports in the feet, if you want to plug in some uh, fossilizers, or in this case, blast effects, because there's not really that many ports in this guy, due to it being a Studio Series mold. But, hey. <laughs> It's still the port in the back, so I'm sure you can figure out something. Now, here's these two with the original mold, Jazz. 
And honestly, these still look really good together. So, yeah. And here he is with fellow Action Master Mainframe, or in Kingdom's case, Teletran 1. I don't know, maybe it... Maybe yeah, Mainframe was meant to be Teletran 1, just remade into an actual robot, because... I don't know. In fact, like, they're actually redoing this guy, just in more... Uh, mainframe accurate colors. Okay. Why not? I right, like mainframe's actually a lot taller. But it's probably just because this this guy is a, meant to be the partner of the actual Autobot arc. You know, maybe like maybe these guys are just how they looked before Nucleon. Hey, that would be a cool capture line. Action Masters, but before they had the Nucleon effect. I would totally buy an Axer if they did a version of, of him like that. And well, for these guys' articulation, well, for uh, sights, we can uh, sort of get them into a flying pose like this, but of course his head can just go up and down. The uh, wings can flap and the uh, feet can move. But for Jackpot here, the head's on a ball joint. Quite a, a good ball joint, in fact. You can sort of pop it off it if you want. But yeah, head's on a ball joint. The arms can do a full 360 around. You can T-pose. It's got elbows. Bicep rotation, wrist rotation. Pretty sure, if I, if I, no, I actually forgot. He doesn't have that because the wrists go in. Waist rotation. You can kick forward, kick back. He's got knees, and thankfully, compared to Jazz, the knees do a much better job at holding. I say, is that one's. But yeah, Denise do a much better job at holding compared to Jazz. So he makes up for that when, you know, he, he's, he's got spaghetti legs. But anyway, he's got a fire slipper, which is kind of tight. Can do the splits and angle pivot. And uh, if he can move. So yeah. That's pretty much it for these two. Now, is this a good set? Well, I'm not gonna lie, it does have its flaws. Nam it, 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 namely with the head and the uh, legs. The head, of course... Well, the head being a mismatched sculpt, as I've shown before. Uh, before you see, I'm pretty sure those copies are, are perfectly fine, but me, I'm not so lucky. And the legs, yeah, thankfully, it's not Studio Series Bumblebee Wheeljack levels of loose for me, but still a bit crappy. And well, further complaints basically the same complaints I've had with Jazz, M uh, minus the knees because they've Seems to have fixed that, at least. And for sights... I mean, I could nitpick that he's not a bird, but... Come on, they didn't have any uh, bird uh, uh, battle masters, so... He gets a pass. So, yeah. Do I recommend this set? I mean... Honestly, if you're a fan of the action masters, then I'm gonna say... Sure, because... Honestly, this is a really cool looking uh, figure. Plus, with mainframe, I feel that these, well, I guess three, but these two look really good together. And I, I kind of hope we get more, like, 
maybe uh, Axor from the um, new uh, lockdown. Just sort of like grimacing the uh, Revenge of the Fallen Axor. Maybe Thundercracker in his action master colors. Because right now, the only uh, modern action masters that I can think of are Mainframe, this guy, and the Slicer in the Shattered Glass line. There's probably uh, one I've um, forgotten about, but yeah, those for the. I think those for the only action masters that I've got recent toys that I can think of. So, yeah. If you're a fan of the Action Masters, I definitely do recommend this guy. If you like the colors, then yeah. If you like the Jazz Mold, then yeah, go ahead. If you don't like the... If, if you don't like the Jazz Mold, then yeah, this won't be for you, but... If you want this guy, if you like the Action Masters, if you, then yeah, just go ahead. Because... For me, I... Like, this was an uh, impulse purchase when I uh, bought Puffer and Road Ranger. And honestly, I really like these... These two figures. So, yeah. Well, this has been my review on Golden Disc Collection, Sights and Jackpot. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.